All right, this is called the Iwato scale. I'm playing it in the key of E. But this Iwato scale, it's a Japanese scale. It's a pentatonic scale, meaning, meaning that it only uses five notes. It doesn't use the, the third or the sixth note. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. So it doesn't use the third or sixth note in a uh, diatonic scale. Because in a whether it's a major or a minor scale, you're using seven different notes. You know, there's eight notes in the scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. The, the first uh, note and the last note of the scale are they're known as the tonic. They're the same note, but they're just an octave apart. But this is a pentatonic scale. Um, it has uh, um, roots in, in, in the east, but it's so cool to play because it sounds... Exotic, but it has its place in Western music, I think, as well. Um, you could play it in the open position, and I'll show you the scales in a moment. We can play it right over here. Which is just an octave apart, but I love playing it right here so I can play with the extension. And with the ex extension comes more possibilities where you can use it. So as I said before, it it has um, only five notes. So down here I wrote out a um, numbers one through eight. This would be the E major scale. You normally have you know uh, an E, an F sharp, a G sharp, an A. But the ones I have circled, it's not using the third, and it's also flatted. So it's kind of a, a minory sounded scale. Some people compare it, well it, well, it has been compared to the Locrian mode, which has a lot of flats in it, but I think it sounds a lot better than the Locrian mode. And uh, you could substitute this scale differently. But here's a screenshot of the first position that I played. And uh, second position. Okay, I played it just an octave apart. And I played it with the extension as well. But um, it really does have a lot of possibilities. And I mean, you, can, you can just um, see if I'm just playing this major E and F. there and playing the seventh and eighth frets both on the fifth and fourth strings by the time I get to the third string I'm playing the seventh ninth and eleventh moving way up to the tenth and eleventh on the second string tenth and twelfth on the first so I mean I'm, I'm hope you guys are as excited about the scale as I am, um, once again, you can substitute it. You don't have to use, you know, just regular minor scales. You know, it's it's kind of minor sound, as I said, because it's similar to the Locrian mode. But um, be sure to transpose it as well and use this one with the extension because I added extra notes. But I don't see this scale uh, too often. And, um, you know, it's, 
I just think it's so cool. I think it's awesome. Um, it's going to be a shorter video today. Um, so there you go. Remember, you don't use the third or sixth notes. It's just a pentatonic scale, meaning using five different notes. Pentatonic, you wonder what a pentatonic is? Well, say you're playing a minor scale, which is known as a blues scale, which has a minor feel to it. But this one, this Waddle scale is even more minory sounding, and it doesn't play a couple of the notes. You know, if you were playing a whole major scale, playing seven different notes in that scale. Here you only play five notes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.